tooth like I do, then, well, the Roadshow Kitchen is the place for you. Chef Rick Allaire is here. Metacom Kitchen is the place. We've got uh, some goat cheesecake, blueberry buttermilk, and buckwheat. That's what we're making today. That's what we're making. I'm happy about this. I have a crazy sweet tooth. Yeah. I love cheesecake. Yeah. Tell us about uh, what you're going to make today. All right. Well, this has been on the menu for a couple of months, and now what we like to do at the restaurant is take traditional things and pair maybe pr unusual ingredients with them. Right. So this is a goat cheese. It's a goat cheesecake, so it has a little bit of goat cheese in addition to regular um, sour cream mm -hmm. and cream cheese. And it has a blueberry sauce, but it also has an addition of granola, buckwheat, and buttermilk. All right, so let's go over the ingredients that we need okay. to put this uh, put this together. Okay, so the cheesecake itself is, is, very, is very traditional with the eggs and sugar and vanilla. The blueberry sauce is going to have a little bit of yuzu juice, which is a, is a Japanese citrus. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the granola we make at the restaurant, and has Marcona almonds and oats and, um, and pine nuts in it. And uh, the, the, the buttermilk component is going to be put into an ISI, which is, which is a, a, a siphon. Okay. And we're going to whip the buttermilk into a mousse. So does that make it uh, a little more airy, not it makes, as heavy it makes as it much cheesecake? More, it makes some? it much more airy. It does. So we have a lot of contrasting textures flavors. Some things are sour, some things are kind of sweet. Right. So we just want to make it a little bit dynamic. And what about the use of the, the goat cheese as well? Does that have to add a different flavor than if someone makes uh, cheesecake at home right now? Yeah. Does it have different you know, texture to it? It, it, does, it doesn't really too, do too much to the texture. It just gives it a different kind of tartness. Oh, okay. So this, this kind of plays around a lot with like tart flavors, sweet flavors. And, and the buckwheat really brings another inter interesting dynamic to it. I worked with a pastry chef years ago, right? and he, he would do buckwheat and goat cheese, and it was just such a great combination. One, so, that, one you don't see very often, but I like it a lot. Sounds good to me. We got Sweet Tooth here in the Roadshow. We are going to give that a shot in just a little bit. We'll put it together, talk about the restaurant, and we'll also talk about the March of Dimes coming up just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen with Medicom Kitchen. Chef Rick is here. We're also joined by Amy Eldridge. We're going to get to Amy in just a minute. But, Rick, I want to catch everyone up on, on what we're making here. We're making goat cheesecake. Making goat cheesecake. So it has all traditional ingredients that we do find in goat cheese. Sugar, mm -hmm. vanilla, sour cream. But it also has an addition of goat cheese. So I have the mixture all made together. We're going to take that mixture and pour it into the silicon uh, flexi mold. So this these molds we can actually put in the oven. Very cool. So we're going to bake them individually um, and then we can compose all the ingredients around the, the cheesecake itself. All right, sounds good. So why don't you get to, to pouring that into the tray right there. And let's get to March of Dimes. Has a great event coming up. Tell us all about it. We do. Signature Chef Auction. It's our 15th anniversary this year. So we are very excited. We have over 20 chefs from around the state who are going to be joining us. And they all donate their time and their talent in the way of delicious food <laughs> as Rick is here. Um, this year, Rick is our signature chef. So we are honoring him for both his talent and and his dedication to the mission of the March of Dimes. Mm -hmm. So it's taking place at Aldrich Mansion. Uh, tickets are still available for the event. And it's a week you, away. It right? is a week okay. away, a week from today. Uh, we're very excited about it. So people who come, they get to enjoy delicious food and then participate in an auction where they get to bid on one-of-a-kind items that are really designed around the culinary experience that they have and also support the mission of the March of Dimes, which is giving every baby a fighting chance. There's a lot of food lovers in our area yes. so this is a perfect event if Absolutely. you are out there watching right now um, you mentioned March of Dimes and its mission what is the mission the mission truly is to give every baby a fighting chance and that really circles around education and support so if someone is thinking about getting pregnant what do you do and to order to ensure that you have the healthiest pregnancy possible and then providing support to families who may not have the perfect pregnancy and you end up in the NICU mm -hmm. what do you need and that's such a unique experience and then the research that we're doing to truly um, end premature birth and to figure out what all that is. So yeah. um, every baby a fighting chance. Absolutely. And I think you know a lot of people out there who have maybe gone through something similar mm -hmm. and could have used that help or can use that help in the future so you can do your part by attending the event. We're going to finish this recipe when we come back. Here from Medicom Kitchen in our kitchen with a sweet treat. Goat cheesecake with blueberries, buttermilk, and buckwheat. We love that. And I see a siphon here. You have a siphon. That means fun. These are the things that you often see in Starbucks and they use them for to make the whipped creams. Mm -hmm. So we use them at Medicom a lot, but we'll put uh, mango purees and today we're going to put buttermilk in it. Ooh, okay. So can I just say uh, blueberries, buttermilk, and buckwheat, the triple B okay. complimenting the goat cheesecake. I can't wait to sample. There there it just is. throwing it out there. Great combination. There it is. We'll let this man go to work here. Look at him well, pour. We're going to have Michaela go to work. Oh, okay. I'm just going to so, supervise. Is that what the deal is? Well, I'll give you a job. <laughs> All right. You have to be patient. All right. Okay. So here we have the the siphon, mm -hmm. 
buttermilk is in it, it stabilizes with a little bit of gelatin, All right. which will help it foam. Okay. So then we're going to go here, put that in, and you're going to turn that, keep going, and then turn it really hard. And then you'll hear the okay. gas go in. Now shake it three times. Now unscrew it. Go. Oh, look out. Wee. Stand back. Release. Now do that one more time. With, with, the, this, with the second with one. a new one. Yep. Okay. So that's nitrous oxide. So that's going to give it the body that we want. Ooh, I feel like a scientist. So, so we, have, we have the blueberry sauce that we have working here, which is the yuzu juice, the Japanese citrus. Three more times. Now, you don't want to overshake it because it'll, it'll foam it so much that it won't come out. But that's, oh. that's perfect. Okay. I was really hoping right? it would and explode. And now take this explode. off again? No, you can leave it in. It won't okay. matter. So the blueberry sauce is going. What we're going to do is we're just going to cook the blueberries down a little tiny bit with a little bit of sugar and yuzu juice. And then we're going to have this nice sauce here. I could have working. handed that to you, you know. That's okay. Next you almost, can hit me the granola. There now. you go. It's a sauce, okay. but it's thick. It almost looks uh, yep. like a jelly or a jam. It's well, we, we, use, uh, we use a, uh, a gelling agent called gelan gum, which mm -hmm. it thickens it, but it gives it a very light mouthfeel. It looks like it'd be very thick on your tongue, right. but it's very, very light. Yeah. So we use different kinds of uh, agents like that to kind of give us different kinds of textures. And that's what this dessert is all about, different kinds of textures, that's which good. is why we did the buckwheat, which I didn't talk about too much before. So that is a, it's essentially a savory flatbread. So it's buckwheat flour, all-purpose flour, water, and a little bit of powdered sugar. And we roll it out in a pasta machine and then put it on a plancha like a grill. That is so cool. And then coat it with powdered sugar. And you make these little crisps out of yep. it. Awesome. And then it's Very baked. Cool. So how do we assemble all of this together? You then you put it together, man. Textures. Okay, so now we have everything ready to go here. So this is the cheesecake, and it's in its individual. Yeah. You okay. popped these into the oven earlier, but about how long do they take? Because they're in such small molds. The, those take only about 35 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So looks it's extreme, pretty much ready to go. Aesthetically very pleasing, looks yeah. extremely palatable as well. I mean, you wouldn't think cheesecake when you look at that, but it's an interesting take on the classic. Mm -hmm. Lots of what we like to do at the restaurant. You see, we that's like what he we, likes to do. We like lots of little surprises here. Outstanding. So this is the blueberry. Has a nice texture to it. This is the almond granola. All right. Which also has more texture. The plating is like a painting. It really is. You know, a lot of times you can just layer these same ingredients on each other, but yep. the placement of them makes it so nice. So this is the buttermilk. There it is. It's rubbing up. Wow. Oh, yeah. Will mine do that already? <laughs> it won't. That one has to, um, that had a little bit of air in it. That's why it made all that noise. Oh. So there was too much, there was too much space of air on the top. So that's why I had to shake it down. So what so happens that's now? Do I let this sit? So that we, that we would ice in maybe for like a half an hour and then it would give it that so right now it'll probably be a little bit too loose look how good that looks are you kidding me i mean somebody told me once you eat first with your eyes if something yeah. looks great it's going to taste great and mm -hmm. that right there looks spectacular and this is the buckwheat i'm going to ruin it all by eating it no, it's, <laughs> okay. it's delicious go right ahead i'm going to get them so, so good. and this is the dessert that we are going to do medicom is going to do this dessert at the march of dimes and everyone will be able to sample this yeah it's going to be there? it's going to be a much smaller uh, portion of so course, it's, well yeah because there's other chefs right, you want to make sure right. you don't get the, too full there's 22 others so i don't want to take everyone's take everyone's uh guess it's a great thing this so is, it's going to be very small mm -hmm. and um it's going to be one bite perfect so we have one bite. I'm ready to take one yeah. bite right about now. This is Chef Rick. Oh, he's from Medicom Kitchen to learn more all about what he's up to. The March of Dimes. As after I toss this out, I'm going to take a, a sample. But if you want to learn more, where do they go, Michaela? Roadshow.com.